Hello, hello, everybody. We are back for an evening cast of some more Frostpunk. Legion, enjoy your time in the ban oasis, my friend. I'm glad to see you testing your metal. And I'm unfortunately seeing you fail today of all days. Wednesday? Is it a Wednesday or Tuesday? I am not entirely certain. But anyway, guys, we are going to be continuing our first dip into Frostpunk. It has been such a delight so far. I really, really have enjoyed it. There's been so many ups and downs, so many crazy things happening. We just started a church to try and get people to have faith in us. And uh, we are slowly, slowly dying, passing into the wintry abyss. So hopefully today we will be able to stymie that, prevent the Londoners from taking all of our citizens with them back to London, which is probably gone by now, uh, I would I would imagine. Uh, and let's see where we can go with this. Let's see what we can get done. It should be quite the ride. We just got our first automaton as well, uh, which is kind of helping save the colony. It is working day and night uh, in order to get coal in the generators. And it's very cold, chat. It is very cold in here. Very, very cold. The, everything about this game is so spot on. The sound design, the writing, the event, the random event occurrences, the exploration, and the <laughs> ups and downs that come with running your own city, starting your own city in the middle of a winter wilderness. It's been insane so far, pure insanity. Uh, so I'm looking forward to continuing it. Let's do this! Let's do this. <laughs> I We played for like six and a half hours straight last night, and it was 2.30 in the morning, and I did not want to stop, but we had to because I needed to get some sleep. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out where exactly we are back in the game again. I think... I believe we were just starting to pull out of the extremely po uh, problematic situations we were in. People were no longer starving. There, was there, were, there were many less sick people. And uh, we were starting to develop a small surplus of coal as well. The problem is, as soon as we start developing surpluses, it gets colder. And then we have to upgrade the generator, get a factory. So it's all coming together. We're going to pause it. Look at this shit. Look how, look how discontented everyone is. They're so mad at me. They're so mad at me. <laughs> They're all leaving. There's 40 people, 40 Londoners just up and leaving. Uh, so we gotta get things built really fast. We have our two objectives right here. Maintain at least livable uh, heating conditions in all of our homes for an extended period of time. We are running low on um, coal, but it, soon it will be daylight and we should be able to pick the pace up on that. Um, I, I kinda wanna try something real quick. Um, I think maybe 60% of this. Let's, let's, let's actually check this real quick. How much coal? 15 an hour. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna see, and this is 16 an hour. So we're gonna keep this one running, I think. And we're gonna add everyone back to this uh, to keep them going. They are on a cool down right now. And let's see this. Let's see how this works out. You wanna start researching again. Uh, the automaton is currently bringing enough coal in to keep our generator running, which is good. Uh, it's fairly stable, as you can see up here at the top. Uh, we're also running on tier two uh, steam level. As soon as if the if the heat goes down again, we'll run on tier one. But for now, uh, we have to run on tier two. We what we really want is to build a factory. Remember, child labor works. Child labor brings the morale of the people down. Legion, can you the every Everyone's already leaving our colony. Look at this, 40 people in, what, nine or 10 days? In 10 days, they're just gonna flat out leave because they hate us, they hate me. Can you imagine if I was forcing their children to work? What situation would we be in? It'd be awful, purely awful. All right, let's pull some people out of uh, this wood mill and have them gather more food we need people to stop freaking starving. We gotta have them stop starving. Um, all right, let's see how much steel we need to research the factory. 
Where is this? Exploration industry. Fa factory right here. Okay, 15 steel. We have enough. Oh, we can actually do it. No, we, we need 20 steel. 15 steel to build it. So we'll easily get that tomorrow. We have 18 steel. Um, and then we'll use our last steam core on that. We're gonna get a new influx of workers here pretty soon, which will be good. Our steel mill is running fine. And our research is running fine as well. We recently got a huge influx of engineers, uh, which is really good for us. Let's go ahead and toss some more people into sick beds. Some more engineers in the uh, medicine cabinets. Ten people running the coal mill. Okay, so I think we're good to keep going. Um, our, our next two steps are the factory, and then we also need to build a temple really badly uh, to, to bump this faith up. And the temple takes 30 steel. We have enough. We should be able to get enough steel tomorrow for that. I think that'll be that'll be before the factory actually, because we need to raise this discontent. Get rid of these hopeful people. Stop it. Cease it immediately. Uh, and then we can upgrade the automaton to haul more coal, I think, which would be good. I also want to make another coal mine uh, out here. And we also need to put heaters around these, um, around these areas. So the temperature drops again, people are going to cease being able to work there. Around our outer peripheral working areas. So we have a lot on our plate right now. Quite a bit, actually. How's your night going, Legion? How are you doing, my friend? Work time. Get back to work. Work time indeed. Start now. All right. Um, evening prayers. Us twenty food rations. Considerably held a place of worship. What is this one? Cool down two days. The one were delivered to place of worship. Will restore hope. Oh, that's cool. All right, really quick. Let's let's look at this one as well. This one is on cooldown, so it looks like maybe they both are linked as one unit. All right, let's check this out real quick. Survivors reach the city. As sir, a group of survivors has reached our city. They are tired. They need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they are already they are ready to lend a hand however they can. Huh. He's doing 16 an hour. So we need to be making more coal, really badly, actually. Um, I think maybe we should put another... Another coal thumper right here and have them gather it. But the problem is they're gonna struggle to keep up with uh, mining the coal regardless. However, now we can maybe add people to gather this coal faster. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. And then... Put another coal thumper, like, right here. That could work. That could work really well, actually. Hmm. How many... Does, how many... How much does this take? Just 15 wood. Okay. There's no argument. We should just... We should just definitely do this. We should just... Absolutely do this. So let's go ahead and build some roads. Uh, out to the edge of this. Put our coal thumper right. It's pretty far away. Actually, look. So this should heat all the way up to here. And this one. Where is this other one? This one we had another one of these heaters. Oh, we'll, so okay. I think we'll want to heat these areas pretty pretty efficiently as well. All right, I guess we just put this right here. Yeah, let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. Oh, we just got all those homeless people. We kind of forgot about that. It's 
16 an hour. All right, these people are working. They're working. They better damn well keep working. Um, all right, so let's build the temple next, then the factory. Those are our two priorities. Um, we're going to build some more bunkhouses. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting the bunkhouses... Cause steel, god damn it. Alright, can we Oh we do get the steel back if we okay, perfect. So those idiots are gonna have to be homeless for a little bit longer. Uh we're gonna leave it playing and then I think we should stabilize. Oh the generator's shutting down! No! This is really bad. This is really bad. Um, okay, let's leave it on 24 hour, then turn it off. Let's turn that off as well. No! Man, God, how do we run out of coal so fast? I'm not sure what, like, why that turned around. I'm not sure, like, we had plenty, and we were actually gaining, and then suddenly we stopped gaining. I'm not really sure what that was about. Oh, God, that is gonna murder our chances! We were doing so well! We maintained house in the heat, in, heat in the houses for, like, three straight days. Jesus! Oh, my God, the Londoners are gonna gain so many people. So many people, Jack. Oh, that is just awful. That is just awful. Oh, God, final warning. People are desperate, sir. People are talking openly about overthrowing you, bereft of hope. They see no future for our city and they blame you for it. What should we do? And the, the shitty thing is, things are actually finally starting to turn around. Send guards to silence them. Ask the faith to silence you must hold on for a couple more days. This is really bad. This is re really, really bad. <laughs> We're so close, chat. We're so close to doing what we need to do. God damn it. All right, uh, let's, go let's go ahead and build a temple. Yeah, okay. Oh, this sucks! Alright. We're gonna die. We're gonna die here, chat. This is the end! Okay. Now, let's... Freaking just put everyone we have left into this cold distribution plant. And then these people should gather from, yeah, they'll gather from both of these areas. Or the, uh, the automaton will. So even if this one runs out, this one should still have enough for the automaton to take from. Go ahead and turn these back on. Oh, come on! Yeah, I don't know why our coal production dropped off so sharply all of a sudden. It's kind of weird, actually. We are making a lot of coal. A lot of coal. Alright, we got plenty of food now, though, which is fantastic. The temple's been erected. The magnificent symbol of your devotion is now visible throughout the city. Hell yeah. Perfect. Look at that, all that hope. Imagine if we kept the houses warm. 
We would have had like doubled our hope. Restore the hope in people's hearts. Hope rises. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> Things are getting better. A little bit. A little bit better. Change of heart, sir. A man was found crying silently at the temple. We approached him to ask if he needed help. He told us he wanted to see you. Me? I thought my faith died long ago, sir. My wife and daughters in London, I couldn't see any purpose in our new life. In the fight for survival. But today, when I entered the temple, I saw a future for us. Now I'm ready to face it. Yes! Hell yes! Spread the word, my friend! Spread the word! The gospel! To the people! We must enlighten them! Bring them to salvation! All right, we're gonna need more food. We're gonna need more uh, rations. So I think pretty soon we're gonna want to build. Uh, the hunter's hangar. I need forty more steel for that. That's actually kind of insane. Hmm. What? Why the hell did just did discontent go up so high right then? Just bad food. They're hungry. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. This is so bad. They're gonna <laughs> They're gonna hate me. Overcrowded medical facilities. There's not even anyone living in the medical facilities. Huh. Alright, well let's just keep going. I just heard like an emergency thing, I guess not. Let's give them real food for a little bit, I guess. Someone's starving, we have 37 food in the bag. What's up with that? How is that even possible, Chad? How is it even possible? All right, the next thing we're gonna be doing is researching the factory, I think. Healthcare insulation, what's this? Medical beds, infirmaries, houses of healing, and care beds will be warmer, plus one heat. Oh, it's actually really good. It's actually, that would be amazing. Industrial hothouse. We can try and go ahead and go for level three. No, we, we need to research this. I think we'll get there today, actually. We'll get 20 today. Yeah, we will. People are furious, sir. I'm extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt would break out against us at any minute. What should you do? You have no, uh, no keepers. I guess the next step will be... I guess we just make some freaking <laughs> faith keepers to guard us. What is this? Righteous denunciation. The duty of the faithful to denounce wickedness. It is a sign of true compassion. To bring this, the wicked to light. Huh, wait, what is this? Uh, after Judas Loam, another one can be passed. An, uh, but it doesn't even say, it doesn't even say anything. Bring the wicked to light. Occasionally lowers discontent. Occasionally recovers small amounts of resources. Um, to the faith keepers, discontent will rise. 50 steel? Jesus, man! Oh, God! It's all coming apart! It's all coming apart. Reduces discontent at nighttime processions. People are so mad! They're so mad! All right, let's research some new stuff. I guess we just go ahead and start research researching the factory. We're out of steel, of course we're out of steel, you fools! Jesus Christ. This is terrible. It's all coming apart in front of our very eyes. Wood, we got plenty of wood. And we are actually finally stocking up on coal as well.
Alright, that's alright. Why is it shut down? Storage limit reached. What? Huh. Guess people are just slow workers. It's fine though, we're still pulling 20, 21 an, uh, an hour. That's fine. I will take that. I absolutely will. Hmm. Alright, our discontent is actually lowering right now, which is good. And someone left the Londoners. And convinced to be able to trust me again. I am trying. I am trying. Alright, so our next project is to get, like, 40, 40 steel. That's a lot of steel. Damn. We can't do anything to make them, make them mistrust us. If we do, immediate failure. They will just, they will run from us so damn fast. Avarius hunters better do their work. We need food. We need food. We need food, chat! 14, 20... 30 a day, okay. Um, hmm. So we're still gaining coal. Well, we stopped gaining coal, obviously, because the... Londoners prey on the discontent and an agitated crowd. These damn Londoners, I swear to God. Member of Londoners is stirring up a restless crowd. He's scaring people into joining the Exodus of London. They're discontent with the situation. The city makes visions of doom all the more believing. Ask a cleric to reassure the people. The number of Londoners will rise slightly plus 10. The number of Londoners will rise slightly plus 20. Plus 10? Oh, Jesus! All right, so we're, we're gonna go ahead. One day in 21 hours. To let discontent sink enough. It is sinking. It is sinking. Huh. Alright, the, the amputees, when we can get them to work, that, that would be pretty damn great. 20 people per care house, number of amputees, 10. Yeah, we, we got that, we got that. We're not reaching our storage limit because we're not making enough resources. And so that is okay, I guess. I'd love to be able to make some more automatons. These people are going out on hunts. The other people are flying out on hunts, which is pretty damn cool. And they do go at night, I believe. Check, like 1800 to 600, yeah, that's right. Negative 40 degrees, freaking Celsius, it's so damn cold. It is so cold. And why are people hungry? Go get food. We have 35 food, 25 food. Temple has influenced people to mend their ways. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Cool. Tutorials have exited. Exodusted. Um. All right, well, we actually might get our discontent down enough here by doing this. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. Fifteen children during work hours, but only during work hours, interesting. What's our temperature look like? Actually not bad, actually not bad at all. I want to put another heater on both of these areas. Turn the heat back on for this. Turn the heat off for that. Off for both of our bunk houses. I think we'll make this goal. Our discontent is raising, uh, is going down quite significantly. All right, now we are actually out of food, which kind of sucks. Still a lot of homeless people. Uh, we just gotta get more steel in order to build these food additional things. Uh, huh. 
We'll have to build two houses of prayer. The faith keepers, but, but this actually will not, I don't think, lower the uh, of the discontent. Deliver in a place of worship. Is this? Oh, wait, there it is. Discontent will rise. Okay, and then and then eventually they will overall lower discontent. So we definitely want to put them in. We're gonna have to wait, I think, until. Until we meet this goal of uh, of them trusting us. Whoa! What? Why did that go down? Go up so high? What just happened? Okay, that's dumb. I don't know what... Was it just changing the food? We're not even making food. So they're not even eating food. Oh, God. They're gaining so many followers. Curses! Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Maybe. Everyone hates me so much. So much. I really don't know if we're going to meet this goal, but hopefully we can. Hello, Steve! Welcome in. Survivors and reach the city. A certain group of survivors have reached our city. They are tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they are ready to lend a hand however they can. What? No, I don't want... I don't want them here. I guess we said... I guess we said them here, didn't we? Huh. Well. I guess we have more people. That's pretty bad, actually. It just got so cold. All right, we're gonna meet this go this discontent uh, goal there. Is it's like Sim City? Uh, sure, I'd say it's more like Rim World, but kind of. Yes, we are building our city. That's true. In a utter cold wasteland of death and destruction, and we're gonna <laughs> having to decide everyone that we we're trying to, we're having to appease everybody. Discontent falls. You've managed to placate your people. Placate. Pla placate. I think it's placate. It does kind of look like SimCity, and we are making buildings and designing people's lives and stuff, so that is partially it. It's a really cool game, Steen. I'm really enjoying it, but it is uh, challenging at times. <laughs> it is challenging at times. Too cold? Oh, there we go. Okay, it'll function now. We gotta make food for the people. Everyone's starving. Everyone's sick? Oh, shit. That's not good. I was going to turn all of these on. Hey, Steen! Thank you for that re- so, you beautiful human being. All right, we gotta keep the medical bays open. There you go, that, that just healed pretty much everybody. We have a lot of homeless people. Uh, so we probably should start building houses. How much steel do we have? Eight steel, it's not enough. Each house takes 10 steel. Very cold. Okay. Oh god, this is really bad. Everything is falling apart. Cost 20 steel to put a heater here. We're gonna have to put a heater there or we're not gonna make it. Uh he's totally up your alley, Steen. It is so up your alley. You have to you have to watch the temperature. The it fluctuates going up and down. You have to uh, do research to find new machines and new ways of heating the village. Uh, or the, the town. You can, you go explore. You can find all these different resources everywhere. It's really damn cool. Actually, let's. Speaking of uh, exploring, let's put a search party together. Where do we have workers that are not doing work? Actually, scrap this care house. How much is it? I believe it's like 30 bucks. It's definitely worth the money, though. It is incredibly good. Now, some people say it's fairly short. Uh, it is such a good playthrough. We're, we're a good, 
I think, eight, seven or eight hours into this one. Uh, and there's a, there's a bunch of different scenarios you can play out as well. We're just doing the first scenario. 